practices. 1. First make sure that the battery of the device is fully charged. If not, first charge the battery. 2. Connect the parabolic antenna, telescopic scanner antennas and power tube of the device. Be sure that the antennas are fully fitted. Secure the screw cap of the power tube while not being very tight. 3. Bury gold, silver or bronze objects under the ground without wrapping them with anything like a plastic bag. Because it is a newly buried object, in order to provide conductivity with the soil, pour some water on the burial area. If you wait 3 to 5 days after burying the objects, you will see that your locator would have a stronger attraction. Operating the device 1. Turn on the device by pressing the on-off button. After the brand and model screens, the language selection screen will show. Choose your desired language using the up, down and left, right arrows and press enter. Mode selection screen on the language you have chosen will show. You would not have to choose the language every time you turn on the device since it would hold your selection on its memory. 2. Using the arrows, choose either the long-range locator of magnetometer mode and press enter. 3. If you have chosen the long-range locator mode, the program selection screen will show. According to the object type, gold, silver, etc., you would like to search, choose the program and press enter. The program you have chosen will start to load and the searching screen will show with the widening waves. 4. On the left of the screen, the range value and on the right of the screen, the depth value will be seen. While searching in a close area, if you do not want to see the far targets, you can decrease the range value with the down arrow button. This will also lead to a decrease in the depth value. You can increase the range with the up arrow. 5. After waiting for a couple of minutes, you can start searching. 6. You can see the battery charge level from battery indicator on the upper right corner of the screen. Look.